Now, uh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to my political analysis for today. And thank you so much once again for watching this video. Just in case you are here for the first time, or maybe you are currently watching this and you haven't subscribed, I'm just requesting you to please subscribe to my channel so that we can grow this platform together. And also, you can press the notification bell so that YouTube can automatically update you by sending you the notifications immediately I post a video here. Otherwise, I really want to appreciate my returning subscribers, to my loyal viewers, and to my supporters, to say that thank you so much and I really don't take your entire support for granted. So let us go straight into our analysis for today and in this video I just want to be very much brief enough. So Raylo Dinga together with the Azimio Nomoja Alliance, some leaders, are currently supporting, they are defending and they are protecting the Mungiki gang, led by the Mungiki leader, Mainanjenga himself. And very many leaders here in Kenya, including some of the Azimio no Moja Alliance leaders, have raised concerns about Raila Odinga's decision because that narrative actually is not going to work. First of all, I just want to read for you and show you on the screen this uh, message or this statement from the Kileleshua MCA, Robert Allah himself, together with Abraham Mutai, their statements concerning Reloading defending or protecting the Mungiki gang. So let me just read for you. First of all, Robert Allah is saying that Azimio Longwaja Alliance should stop defending Mungiki and Jubilee. If Jubilee leaders cannot manage their affairs, it shouldn't be a baggage to Azimio Longmoja. Mungiki leaders must sort their own problems. We must focus on our supporters. The way we rush and defend and console Mungiki leaders but ignore our key supporters base, support base is such a bad thing in Azimio Longmoja lands. So you can clearly tell that first of all, uh, Robert, Robert Alai is saying that our main key issue here as the Azimio no Moja Alliance, let us not defend support other issues like the Jubilee Party, like uh, the Mungiki Gang. Those are not things that will help us grow as Azimio no Moja Alliance. Let us focus on our key supporters. Let us be the ones who are protecting and supporting them. I really support Robert Alaibi considering the fact that, first of all, if Azimio Lomoja is preparing for the 2027 general elections, because basically, or of course, uh, it missed the previous 2022 general elections. So, of course, they are planning the way forward. So, they must defend the people. You know how William Ruto managed to win the previous 2022 general election? He came out as an opposition leader somehow because he was in the government but he was saying that he was being kicked out as the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya and he was supporting the people of the Republic of Kenya, supporting them so much until people noticed that at least William Ruto can be our defender because the government by that night, that time will not even listen to the ground but that is not our issue here. Let me give you the reason as to why or some of the reasons as to why Raila Odinga is currently supporting that narrative of supporting the Mungiki gang. First of all, it is a way of Raila Odinga selling himself in the larger Mount Kenya region. The truth of the matter is that up to date, Raila Odinga is still facing the rejection in the larger Mount Kenya region. Up to now. That is the truth of the matter. So Rilo Dinga is somebody who will do everything possible to secure his support in the larger Mount Kenya region, especially right now that majority of the leaders who supported him in the previous uh, campaigns have now defected to the Kenya Kwanza Alliance. So he had to appoint the new members, like uh, people like uh, uh, Mongi Wairia, you know, and those kind of leaders in the larger Mount Kenya region to come up with a narrative so that people can see that uh, 
Raila Odinga is actually the defender of the larger Mount Kenya region, while, Will, while William Ruto and the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance government are people who are targeting the youths of the larger Mount Kenya region. So it's a way of seeking his support, his endorsement in the larger Mount Kenya region. So let, let's wait and see if this narrative of Raila Odinga will actually work, if the people of the larger Mount Kenya region will support Raila Odinga simply because of the Mungiki issue, which I don't see it coming very soon. I think Raila Odinga should just follow Robert Alai's way when he says that let us focus on our key supporters. Let us defend them, you know, so that at least we secure the support base that we had in the previous 2022 general elections. Let us not lose the supporters and we have already lost the leaders there. Also, Lord Abraham Mutai is saying that uh, Azimio Nomoja Alliance currently defending Mungiki Gang. Mungiki Gang. What, has, what a disgrace, you know. Those are the kind of leaders who have raised the concerns. Secondly, ladies and gentlemen, the reason as to why Raila Odinga is supporting or defending the Mungiki Gang is because Raila Odinga needs the Mungiki leader, Maina Njenga, closer to him as a way of protecting and to scare off the Kenya Kwanza Alliance. The truth of the matter here is that Rigadi Gashagwa, even himself, with William Ruto, have cornered Raila Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta in the larger Mount Kenya region, such that they don't have even a way to breathe. So Raila Odinga is seeking every everything, you know, every each and every political move to ensure that at least there is somebody from the larger Mount Kenya region who can stop Rigadi Gashagwa and William Samuel Ruto because. They are not, even if they are, they, that narrative is being taken to the larger Mount Kenya region, even if they try to demonize the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, there's no way the people from the larger Mount Kenya region will support Raila Odinga over William Samuel Ruto. So Raila Odinga is trying to bring up somebody from the larger Mount Kenya region who will stop Rikati Kashagwa and William Samuel Ruto. So he saw that Maina Njenga has that potential because he's somebody who has his own supporters in the larger Mount Kenya region and he's using him to scare off Rikati Gashagwa and William Samuel Ruto. You know, I don't know if Maina Njenga can actually neutralize the support base of William Samuel Ruto and Rikati Gashagwa, even if Uru Muge Kenyatta himself tried but he failed terribly. So let us wait and see also if things will try will actually unfold in favor of Raila Amor Odinga. And finally, Raila Odinga wants to become, you know, to portray himself as a defender of the Mount Kenya region youths. That is why Raila Odinga has been trying so hard to, to at least come up with some political ideas, some political strategies to prove himself out that he is actually the supporter, the defender, the protector of the people of the Raja Mount Kenya region. How is Raila Odinga doing this? First of all, he's portraying the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance government as people who are targeting the youths of the Raja Mount Kenya region. They are calling the youths of the Raja Mount Kenya region as Mungikis, but Raila Odinga is telling them, no, don't call the people of the Raja Mount Kenya region Mungiki because Mungiki is no longer existing you know he's currently defending and protecting he wants to portray himself as somebody who is protecting the mount kenya region youths majority of the current voters majority of uh kenyans currently are youths so Raila Odinga is targeting this youth to secure his support in the larger mount kenya region that was it ladies and gentlemen don't don't, don't know what you think just want to hear your comments, I'll just go through your comments. Let me hear your thoughts on the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, my name is Jessa. Bye-bye.